Hey guys, David here from Davey and Krista, and today we're going to walk through setting up a branded short link. If you don't know what a short link is, um, all it is is a, a shortened link. Uh, so, you know, not rocket science. Um, but the reason that you would shorten a link would be, you know, if you have a really long URL and you're sharing something on social media or elsewhere and you you want to shorten the link um, just because it's easier on the eyes or um, it looks more appealing to click, you might use something like uh, Bitly to do that. And we've created a branded short link for um, for our Davy and Krista brand here and it's just dkbrand.co. And so um, this would actually bring you to our link tree, but that way I don't have to use our ugly uh, link tree URL in our Instagram profile. There is a little bit of evidence to suggest that a branded short link um, performs better than an unbranded short link. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it probably doesn't matter that much. But for those of you who wanna create one, uh, this is how you do it, it's pretty simple to do. The first thing that you want to do is use something like Google Domains to find a shortened domain name. I'm setting this up as if I'm setting up a shortened domain for KristaAJones.com. So to stay on brand, I found KAJ.FYI. It's nice and short. It utilizes uh, our initials or Krista's initials here. And you're going to be looking for endings that are like .fyi or .co or .io or .us or .me, uh, anything to keep the domain uh, as short as possible. This is actually the most difficult part because there's just not very many available short domain names. A lot of them have been already scooped up. So once you find one, uh, scoop it up and move on to the next step. The next thing that you want to do is create a Bitly account if you don't have one already. And after you create it, all you have to do, and you have to verify your email address first, but you're going to come up here and you cl click your name or username in the top right-hand corner. You're going to go to Manage and then Branded Short Domains. And you, since you haven't set anything up, like uh, since you haven't set anything up yet, it's not going to look quite like this. So I'm going to show you a screen of what it's going to look like for you. But it's really simple. It's going to walk you through exactly how to verify your branded short domain. Your page is going to look like this. You're going to hit Add Branded Short Domain in the top right hand corner, and we're going to walk through how to set up your DNSA records so that your branded short domain works. So you're going to go back to wherever you manage uh, the domain name. Come over here to uh, DNS settings, find configure D, uh, DNS. You're going to find wherever you can add custom uh, DNS records, and you're going to add uh, two A records here, or two addresses for an A record. And what you're going to do is, and this seems really complicated, but it's not. You're going to leave this as the at sign. You're going to select A if it's not already defaulting to A. Um, leave that to 1H or, or whatever is there you know, by default in your um, wherever you're managing this domain. And then you're going to plug in your two IP addresses. The only thing that's tricky about Google here is in order to plug in two for the A, a record, you're going to hit this plus sign. I tried to add them each one at a time uh, at first and it gave me an error of course uh, saying that the record was already in use. So once those are added, you're going to come back to your Bitly account and you'll see you know, you still need to add your custom domain so you're going to add your custom domain and hit verify and once it's verified you should get a little notification that says it's verified. I think they say it could take up to 24 hours to do that. For me it's only ever taken uh, you know, 10 to 15 minute tops. Um, but it will tell you if the verification has failed. So just to double check, you, we can come back here to our Bitly account, and I've already created a custom Bitly for KristaAJones.com. And if I hit edit, I could even edit the end of this so it's something like home uh, or whatever I want it to be. So really that's it. That's how you create a custom branded short link.